Hey guys, so today we are making Bowie, the magician's apprentice. I love this penguin. I love his story. I love the name you gave him. I love his top hat. So let's get started. To create this penguin, I'm using vanilla cakes. Two of the cakes I dyed blue because snow and Christmas and blue. I'm using three six inch round cakes and one six inch dome cakes. I'm just leveling it off with my cake leveler. And if you watched my last video, then you know that I just got a new one. But I still have like seven cake videos that I haven't published yet, so you're still gonna be seeing this oldie but a goodie. And I placed this onto my cake stand, gave it a spritz of simple syrup to add a little bit more sweetness and a little bit more moisture. Then on went a layer of buttercream, and I just repeated that process with all my other cakes. I gave this a crumb coat and I forgot to shoot it. Which is funny because I made this at the same time I was making the ghost cake uh, and I forgot to shoot myself giving it a crumb coat as well. That was the same day even though these videos are like two months apart. Now after I gave it a crumb coat, I placed it into the fridge to chill and then I was Amazon and chilling. I was watching this show called The Marvelous Miss Maisel. Oh, it's so good. The lead character is brilliant and I love Alex Borston. Do you remember her from Mad TV? I loved her on Mad TV. And I took my cake out of the fridge and I started to carve the bottom of it. I didn't want it to be flat, so I rounded out the bottom. In hindsight, I should have just done what I did with the poured cake and used a dome cake at the bottom. That would have been much easier and I wouldn't have to do this part. If I felt really weird watching an Amazon TV show because I'm like strictly Netflix. I felt like I was cheating on my girlfriend. <laughs> Don't tell her though, alright? She's gonna be mad. We're having a little bit of a fight though because before she would only ask me for $8 a month and now she's asking me for like 12 to 14. This relationship is getting too pricey for me. <laughs> now I took my cake out of the fridge and I wet my hands with a little bit of water and just ran it over the buttercream to smooth out all the lumps. Now Bowie lives in the North Pole with his best friend, Frosty the Snowman. They were living peacefully until climate change destroyed the world. That's right, it's happening. Now Frosty would often journey to different lands to visit friends and family, but he couldn't because now he was melting. It's like my heart when I watch Martha Stewart and Snoop Dogg cooking. It just, my heart melts. <laughs> but in a bad way. In a, this could be disastrous type of way. I covered it with a very large piece of black fondant and this is very terrifying. Black fondant cracks so easily and it did crack on the bottom but I just controlled it to one side so that I could cover it with my next piece of fondant. Bowie was very concerned about Frosty and he told him, yo, you can't die. You're the only one I got. My mom left me. My dad left me. After reading all of your comments, I really feel that you guys were raised on Disney movies because so many of you were like, he has no parents. His parents are dead. His parents left him. Now Frosty told him that to save the planet, you need two things. Magic and the ability to wield a magician's wand. Where's my wand? I found it! Like this one. But not because this is copyright and it can't be a part of my story. Now with the ability to wield the magic wand, he can focus the magic and create snow to cool down the planet. Now I'm gonna cover our cake with another piece of white fondant just so I can start to create the front of Bowie. Now Bowie didn't have any magic, he's a penguin, all he can do is dance. Yeah, have you ever seen a penguin do the macarena? It's lit. So Frosty took off his magical hat, placed it onto Bowie, and turned back into that inanimate, regular snowman. Cause the hat is life. The most powerful magician lived in Manhattan. So Bowie traveled to New York to locate the magician and become the magician's apprentice. Now let's add some detail to our cake. Cause this store is taking up a lot of this cake decorating time. Now starting with his eyes, I'm gonna roll out some black fondant and using a round cookie cutter, I'm just gonna cut out two eyeballs. Now with some white fondant and a small fondant cutter, I'm gonna give him some catch lights just to give his eyes some sparkle. 
Now for his feet, I cut out sort of like a half football shape, like a prolate shape, I think that's what it's called. And I used a small cookie cutter to give him some webbed feet. Then I just added some detail with my fondant tool. I used the same color fondant and created a beak, just using my fingers to create a long pyramid shape. To create his bow, I created like two football shapes. That's not a football. What? shape is that? It's like those Jesus fishes on the cars but without the fins. I just folded them in half to get the bow and then added some red fondant for the middle. Now for his arm, I rolled out some black fondant into a log and just cut it at a diagonal. I'm just gonna attach this to his body with his toothpick. Now let's place all of these decorations on and finish our story. Now after a few weeks of searching, Bowie was able to track down the world's most powerful magician, Angelica. Now Angelica usually doesn't help out homeless penguins that are stalking her for who knows why. People in New York are crazy. <laughs> but when she saw Bowie, she knew instantly that that was Frosty's hat. You see, Frosty and Angelica were like this. Like this. Like this! They went way back, like when Dr. Dre and Easy and Ice Cube formed NWA, like that far back. Bowie told Angelica what was happening to Frosty. Told him about the melting ice caps and global warming, cause yo, that's a real thing. So Angelica decided to help him. She taught him the ways of the magical force. And with the help of Frosty's magical hat and his new ability to wield the magician's wand, he was able to cool the planet down and keep Frosty from certain death. And he looks so cute doing it too, huh? And voila, Bowie, the magician's apprentice, friend of Frosty the Snowman is complete. I love all of the amazing stories you wrote in the community tab. Caitlin Austin, the story you came up with, that was phenomenal. I tried to incorporate as many as possible because it was just, they're so good. I was really trying to find a place for this one, but I just, it, I couldn't figure out where it would fit in the story. <laughs> love Nicolas Cage. Have you seen Matchstick Men? That's my favorite Nicolas Cage movie. If you want to be a part of this community, you have to hit the notification button so that you can see all of the pictures in the community tab as I finish the cakes and you can be a part of the video when it comes out. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up or down. I don't know your life. I don't know how this video affected you. <laughs> this is going to be my last Christmas video of the year. I ran out of time. Man, I got sidetracked because I just fell in love with a whole bunch of Star Wars ideas and I just created cakes for them. I'm curious, have you guys seen The Marvelous Miss Maisel? I thought it was written so well, but there's only eight episodes. Why is that? I couldn't binge watch. It was the worst. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Stay as cute as a penguin. Yeah? I love you. I'll see you very soon. Peace!